Good YouTube, car if I can't hear Aqualife Baby, you already know how it is. Um So just got back home from uh from locals. Um Today was uh locals actually number two. I went to locals yesterday and then I went again um to a different locals but today as well. Uh, so I wanted to give you my term report over the weekend, and I would say it's the the tale of two tales, a story of redemption, something of that sort. So uh, I went into this weekend thinking that I wanted I wanted to give you know since my Night Rose deck was done, I wanted to go ahead and give that uh, a fair shake, see what I you know you know see what I could do um, in play testing with it, and some like self shadow play. Uh, I felt really comfortable with the deck, uh, what I want to do with it, um, you know, as far as my options go and what, you know, what I could do throughout a game and the plays that it allowed me to make and adapt to. So I felt really good about Rose. So Saturday's local, I played it. Um, I went 3-2. Um, we had five rounds, a lot of players. Uh, my first three rounds went, went well. Um, I beat... Uh, this Golden Beast Tamer, Harry, Dragon, Cheese, whatever, uh, deck, uh, round one, 2 0 that, um, I 2 0 uh, Oracle Think Tank round two, and then, um, I 2 went 2 1 against the cross, my loss was due to, uh, you know, the cross going first, it was kind of like a struggle matchup anyways, um, but a lot of my games, you know, I pretty much got my navigator set up, uh, went in. Um, if I needed to do draw plays, like, um, just to see certain things, I would, you know, go for Ghost Ship, Banshee, and I had some de some pretty decent mills, uh, you know, between all those games. Um, and then going into round four, I played against Yasui. I figured Yasui would be, like, probably the hardest matchup going in, and it was that day. Um... The you know, I lost to the Yasui player, uh, 1-2. Um, pretty much what happened was, was that, like, the first game we played, he had, uh, he resolved three defensive heals and a draw. Um, I, re I just had a hard time pushing any damage on him just because, uh, he continued to resolve his heal triggers and then offensively, you know, checked, like, crit heal and crit front or something like that. It was... Uh, it was just a game where, um, you know, I just really couldn't push just due to, like, a lot of defensive heals. And I had to switch up, like, my game plan as far as uh, how I wanted to attack him because his board was getting even more wide with the re-rise. He kept getting to the VR Yasui, so, um, you know, he just it got to a point where he just had too many attacks and a front trigger just ended the game. Um, game 2... Uh, game two, I was able to get, you know, some nav my navigator set up and everything and uh, uh, got some good draws off of the, you know, some good pressure and draws off of Ghost Ship, Banshee and whatnot. And was able to, you know, I definitely was able to close out the game, late game with, uh, you know, with like a full, you know, so a few Skull Dragons. Um, and then game three, I ended up getting great second at one. I failed G-Assist three times, never got to grade two, so that was that. Um, and then, so I ended up losing that, and then round five, I played against another Yasui player, uh, and that game, it was more of the offensive triggers than anything else, um, I was double fronted twice, I went, it went three games, but, um, I was double fronted twice, my opponent, uh, hit multiple draws on damage, and, you know, against, like, you know, you know, I would want to not, I would be like, okay, cool, that's a draw trigger PG out of his deck, but at the same time, my opponent was just building up a lot of hand, was able to see Shiryuki, um, you know, every game. Uh, it just it just was really, it just really bad. And then the, I had enough to block, like, the last turn in game three, but um, that was only depending on if he didn't flip a front, and he ended up flipping a front trigger again. And, um, you know, I just couldn't block, you know, I just had, didn't, you know, that just put everything out of range for me to block the next fight. I did have... Um, my dragon set up, but couldn't do it. <clears throat> um, so then for game, um, you know, so then I went 3-2 with Rose. Ended up, I think it was fifth place with Rose. Just out of the, bu just, just bubbled out of top four. Um, 
And then, you know, I, I can't, you know, I was working on deck and I was thinking like, I, sh you know, uh, I was talking with Black Steve and we're less, it's just like, I gotta be a little bit, I gotta be a lot more aggressive with my navigator. I figured after two navigators, if I have a drop zone set up, I'm good. But, you know, with, as long as navigator's on the board, it's fine to just keep milling. So, that's my dad. I went into today, today's tournament thinking, all right, I'm going to use navigator a lot more aggressively and just get this drop zone set up. And it really worked out. Um, I ended up going undefeated today uh, with Rose. Went four and zero. My first matchup was um, was against OTT. I think the player was new or hasn't played much. I don't know, but uh, didn't know. What he, I guess he didn't know really kind of what he was doing as far as the gameplay goes. So um, I won that one two zero. And then round two, I played against my brother. Uh, who was playing his Yasui deck, and I just, you know, kind of recalled what I needed to do, but um, he, game one, he gave me a two to pass, I stacked a crit front, I, or stacked a crit heal on Vanguard, and then he couldn't block the dragons, um, and then game two, game two, I just, you know, I used Yasui as a, or, uh, um, Navigator as aggressively as I could, and, uh, you know, got out by got out the quad dragon play and uh into the game um i think it took him from three to six maybe three to six or two to six whichever it is um but yeah quad dragon him um uh, you know i got the game there and then um round three i played against blade master um blade master i game one i double crit him while he was at three Game two, we were great stuck, but um, you know we both re ended up recovering. Uh, but he never, but he didn't really see. I think he damaged a Doha, um, and he had a ride of Doha. He and he couldn't find his other like Dohas, so you know it didn't really do. You know he he didn't board wipe me at all. Not that you know I'm playing Rose, not too much of a board wipe, but it allowed me, my navigator to stay on board a lot longer, continue to mill cards, and then eventually to just go into double dragon and secure the game. Um, and then the finals I played against darker regulars against my good my, my good friend Justin um, and that game is actually uh, has been uploaded onto their YouTube channel um, Justice League swag I will be putting that in the community tab but I'll also post a link to my finals video versus darker regulars um, but I ended up winning that matchup 2-0 as well uh, pretty much what I did was against darker regulars I just damage denied him from having notes so he does not have a turn to play to like ride demonted or um emblem master for the soul charge and that really kind of you know i feel like that really slowed down his soul charging capabilities i know i guess he ran some other cards in his deck to soul charge with but that didn't allow him to go into a clean gray three turn it also cost him to vanilla ride um one of his you know one of the two gray two soul charges that he was running and, um, you know, I further counterblast denied him going into his grade 3 turn so he couldn't use Shaharlet's ability. And I was able to block, I took a damage, was able to block it up, get to Night Roast. And once I got into my Night Roast, once I started getting my, got my setup, um, I was just able to, you know, just, you know, keep my setup going, do what I need to do. I did a lot of draw plays because I knew he was going to do the restand next turn. So I did a lot of draws with the Banshee and the, uh, Ghost Ship. And then I, um... Close out with dragons and in game two, same thing happened. Game two, I damage denied him. He actually ended. He's playing Edge in the Darkness, so he uh, ended up rewriting Edge in the Darkness like twice over his other grade one, just to, just to get some soul. And I, um, you know, again I damage denied him. Got up to my night rose and then started going in. Uh, he finally rode up to grade two, um, you know, did all the soul charging plays, but by the time it got back to me, I used Greed Shade to search out the Navigator, drop down the Navigator, mill another five cards, uh, use double Negro Bone, call out double Dragon, um, and I had, and I had Cutlass, and then, you know, I had my Quad Dragon play, so, uh, so yeah, yeah, so it was, it was able to win local today, 4-0, um, again, I cleaned up what I should have probably been doing uh, last Saturday, cleaned it up for today, and uh, the results show. So I'm quite happy with my undefeated record. Um, again, I really like the way the build is right now, uh, the Navigator build and whatnot. I really like the way the deck is built right now. Um, 
I don't really see any changes I would make to the deck right now, personally. Not just because I won, but because, um, you know, I feel like right now it's just, you know, at its more optimal um, state right now, you know. So, uh, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Um, I will be doing another vid, you know, some more videos to come. I got a few, some a match videos to upload. Uh, yeah, this is Carfight King, Aqua Life Baby. You already know how it is. And I'm out.